All right, here we go. Here we go. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back to the Shoe Snob Unboxing Video Series One Take Wonders. Here we are back again with something new and something very interesting. Um, sorry, I've been away for a while. It's super busy. Got loads of stuff that is in queue to show. So here's the first of many. All right, let's jump straight into it. I know sometimes the videos are long. I'm going to try to talk fast or just, you know, shorten them. Anyway, the branding question has no branded box, which is unique. Black, good quality box, very sturdy, and they are called Raymar. So the sticker is very simple. It just says the brand, says the model, says the color, and the size. Let's take a look. All right, Raymar. A nice little printed paper it says thank you for your purchase truth be told i didn't purchase these but i guess that comes with every pair of shoes that goes out all right so if you read my blog you might recognize these as i recently talked about this brand sorry i forgot to show you the packaging packaging is very simple uh, and when you understand the price point, you understand why all the other details are simple because what you are paying for is the value of the shoe, not all the other details. I think many of us take for granted the details that we get in certain shoes, not realizing how much those details cost and then not realizing that you do pay for them in the final retail price. I mean, business is business. We just have to be realistic. You either get the greatest values for the shoes or you get great amenities and extras that you are paying for and that will find itself into the retail price. So in this instance, you're just paying for these shoes and it's an amazing value at that. So one shouldn't expect all the extra gifts and freebies. All right, let me take everything out. So we can have a proper look comes very well stuffed all right so if you do read my blog you will have seen this model as i featured it as i talked about raymar maybe a month month and a half ago as a new brand i don't think they're that new but they are new on my radar uh mainly because they have never sold internationally prior to maybe three weeks ago uh for those many of you won't realize but the japanese market is a very strict market and they do that to protect their local market so and to export things cost a lot of money um and therefore that's why it's very hard to find stuff from japan and if you do it's usually quite expensive uh, so japanese brand but the shoes are made in china as is a very common trend at the moment um you're going to be baffled, but the shoes are, well, maybe not because after a few videos I've done now on Chinese makers, this may not come to surprise you, but these are hand welted shoes for under $300. Now imagine that that is just, they keep getting harder and harder to compete against and you know, well, good on them, but, uh, yeah, great shoe incredible price beautiful stuff leathers from anone which is one of the most famous french tanneries uh the lining is really nice i love that it's this like dark purple which you don't often see um Raymar original hand sewn welt shoes so they tell you that the shoes are hand welted you can see it with the dimples on the insole so it's a, you know, a trick to realize a hand welted shoe is always going to want to show you that it's hand welted. And the way to do that is to look at that insole. And if you see these dimples, which is where they pulled the thread, that indicates a hand welt. If that's smooth, that's usually a good welt. So great shoes, nice finishing, nice details, literally flawless. One little stained blemish here, not even a blemish, just a light patch where maybe the dye didn't take on the leather so well. But other than that, the shoes are remarkable. Just really great stuff. 
impressive to say the least. So, again, like I was saying, Raymar is a Japanese brand uh, selling for their local market. But because Jesper uh, of Shoegazing and I kind of tag team wrote about their brand really back to back, I think they took notice and I thought, hmm, there's some people outside of Japan interested in our shoes. Let's try to help them. And so prior to us writing about them, they had an e-com site that you weren't able to buy internationally. But now they do have an e-com site where I believe you can buy. It's some, I won't lie. It's not easy to navigate. Uh, it's very confusing because they have like several sites. Half is in Japanese, half is in English. But uh, And I'm sure hopefully they will do better at translating that for the international market. Um, but I believe you can buy three of the models online uh, as an outsider of Japan. They have a huge catalog, but I think maybe they're kind of, you know, building up what they will export. This model being one of them, because in reality, it's probably the nicest one, um, just in terms of beautiful cleanliness. Everything is very classic. You know me, I like things that are a little bit more unique, a bit more daring. For those who like classic shoes, they have all of that in the black and the browns and pretty much just those colors. Uh, but yeah, lovely pair of shoes. The stitches to the inch on the sole, phenomenal, beautiful fudge wheeling, clean waist, beveled on both sides, nice closed channel sole, straight heel, decent size. Great shoe, beautiful shoe. I will say, uh, as far as sizing go, I was going over this with the, you know, one of the representatives of the brand and they have a size guide, which is actually quite in depth. And I thought to take my typical size of a UK six and a half, which in my mind generally translates to a US seven and a half. So I probably should have told them that I was a US seven and a half because the way they translate the sizes are a half size between UK and US uh, as opposed to a full size. So I told them six and a half, seven and a half, and they suggested a seven, but these are too small, uh, a US seven that is. So a seven and a half would have been perfect for me. Um, I could tell just by squeezing my foot that I just needed that half size, it would have been a great fit. Overall though, the, feel, the shoes feel really nice. They're very sturdy. They're what you'd expect from a beautifully well-made hand grade, in this case, hand-welted shoe. Uh, but do be wary. In my opinion, take your typical bench grade size. So your Crockett and Jones size, your church size, your Chini size, stick with that. In my opinion, they don't, uh, they don't fit large. I, maybe it was just a little bit of confusion on, on our part. So uh, for me, they fit quite standard. Um, so yeah, but uh, incredible value, incredible value. I got to say, it's impressive to see shoes this nice for literally $300. And I think the Goodyear Welt ones are like sub 200 uh, and it's crazy. Sorry, my Alexa has a mind of its own and she just likes to talk when she feels like it. Apologize. Um, anyway. Great shoes, very nice people, as you can imagine. Uh, I highly recommend you check them out. I would leave the link for the international uh, buying site, but also for the regular site. Um, I presume if you see something on there and you reach out to them, they're responsive on Instagram, Messenger, uh, and, and you want something that they don't have on the international buying site, I'm sure. Something can be done about it, but I already know a few people have gotten their pairs, so it is working. Again, it's not going to be the most uh, simple site to navigate, but with a little bit of effort, you can get there. And I dare say it's worth it to get a shoe of this value and beauty for under $300. I just want to say, I know the 35,000 Japanese yen at the time that I translated it, it was under 300. I don't know what the currency is like today. You know, currency is fluctuating like crazy. Anyway, 
Beautiful stuff. Definitely check them out. Raymar, Japanese shoe brand. Shoes made in China. Hand welted under $300. Great value for money. Uh, I got lots of stuff in the works, so do stay tuned. Um, got to try to space the, uh, the uh, unboxing videos out because, you know, the algorithm is out to get us these days. And they don't like you repeating stuff. You know, they want us to be TikTok uh, and all. But uh, being that I'm not a Gen Z, it's hard for me to be that. But I got to try to space this out so they don't suppress my stuff. Anyways, in order to help, if you enjoy this content, please do subscribe, like, share, follow the blog. The blog is www.theshoesnobblog.com. Lots of great content there outside of videos. And yes, thank you as always for tuning in. Feel free to comment, leave your thoughts, and I wish everybody a great day. Thank you. Bye-bye.